And here's the latest on the tropical low from the tropical cyclone warning centre in Perth. Bureau of Meteorology via the centre has finally tagged the system as tropical cyclone Damien and it's expected to develop further a turn towards the Pilbara coast on Friday. Gales are expected on the Pilbara coast later on Friday ahead of a severe psychotic impact on Saturday. The warning zone is out of Woodeye Downs to Dampier including Port Hendon, Kawatha and Dampier. The watch zone is Dampier to Onslow and the inland central Pilbara including Tom Price and Parabadu. At 1400 hours local time, the Category 1 system sustained winds in the centre of 75 kilometres an hour with gusts to 100 kilometres an hour. It's located within 45 kilometres to 16 decimal 9 degrees south, 119 decimal 8 degrees east, estimated to be 400 kilometres north northeast of Port Hendon, 285 kilometres west northwest of Brew. Damien is currently tracking rest at 15 kilometres an hour and should continue to track to the west southwest, developing further before turning southwards towards the Pilbara coast on Friday, as mentioned. And a severe tropical cyclone impact is forecast for Pilbara coast during Saturday. Gales are forecast to develop along the Pilbara coast between Woodeye Downs and Dampier, including Port Head and Carrathu from later Friday afternoon. Destructive winds with wind gusts to 150 km an hour may develop overnight Friday as the cyclone approaches the coast, increasing further on Saturday with wind gusts to 230 km an hour near the cyclone centre. If the cyclone tracks further to the west, then gales may develop Saturday morning west of Dampier to Onslow. Abnormally high tides could cause serious flooding at the coast between Dampier and Woodeye, including Kuralta and Port Hedden on Saturday. Heavy rain is likely to cause flooding in the Pilbara and Gascorn as the cyclone moves inland over the weekend. The the Western Australian Government has issued a blue alert. This is for people in or near Port Hedland to Mardi, including the town of Port Hedland, Rim Creek, Point Sampson, Wickham, Roeburn, Karatha Dampier and Panawatnika. Need to prepare for psychotic weather and organise an emergency kit, including first aid communities in the remainder of the watch area including Tom Price and Power Badu should this afford the next advice. Troy Typhoon Warning Centre is now on board they have it as a tropical cyclone 14 is currently located in 106 nautical miles west north west of Broom tracking west at nine knots over the last six hours improving convective organization and recent agency vorac satellite intensity to t2.5 the current uh, position is based on the recent microwave data sensor imagery along with uh, radar imagery service observations and satellite position fixes. The cyclone is tracking westward along the periphery of a deep layered ridge situated to over Western Australia and it's expected to follow the flow associated with this steering ridge through the forecast period initially west south west through the next 24 hours and poleward thereafter. Passage over very warm 29 to 30 Celsius sea service temperatures 
strong upper level outflow, low vertical wind shear, 5 to 10 knots, will support steady intensification in the near term. However, additional intensification above the current forecast is possible if a period of rapid intensification occurs by 48 hours land interaction and a less favourable vertical wind shear pattern should bring an end to the intensification phase. Slow dissipation over land by 96 hours will follow. Numerical model guidance is in good overall agreement although the UK Met and the UK Ensemble trackers depict a tidal curve and therefore near or over Port Headland. That's the latest from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. And here's the latest total forecast survey by the uh, Bureau of Meteorology. The rainfall scales on the right hand side of the screen and in addition to tropical cyclone Damien we have a developing uh, tropical system uh, to the south of the Solomon Islands. Our AU channel is keeping a close eye on that and what does one say about that massive uh, area in pink and purple we will have more in coming hours and please subscribe to the au channel they're actually ramping up the uh, coverage thank you for watching this production of force 13. for more information about force 13 you can check us out on all of our outlets our website, force13.com, where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword force13. You're probably there already, good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword force13, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword force13. And if you want to rock our colors like Nathan Foy here, you can go to our store available at store.force13.com or you can contribute to the project directly by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privilege you can get from patronage can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13 and you can reach out to us on Skype at force13 or to me directly on Discord at trin extension 1375 or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force13.